that chemical from grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably Take too late. Position. Sorry, Laura. Damn. Looking forward to it, to be honest. If it does, I'll make my own and meet you at the veil. I'll let you know when I get there.
Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... Normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found the moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. This is Trinity gear. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Walked right past it last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the Vale. The Founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. 
She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Serafima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them, fighting in the open. I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. Up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. It's dark. The others are out there. I can hear them, panting. Moment of clarity, but it's slipping, coming less frequently. We're sick, poisoned, something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here, walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit, a goddess, a demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen. Maybe I can anchor a rope on that pulley.
Maybe I can connect this to something. run. running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. Pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. And the pollen does the rest. Last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of the story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time.
Nadia, come quick! No. Nadia? How? Uh, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. They put me with the other Russian prisoners. I could see the hate in their eyes, and I didn't blame them. To them, I was just another instrument of their humiliation and degradation. I didn't tell them what I tried to do. It could never be enough. When the revolt came, I was ready. The native prisoners, the ones the Gulag recruited from this very village, were kept apart from the Russians. They had known of my resistance, and that kept them from killing me, along with the other guards. I held my daughter, your mother, for the first time as the Gulag burned around us. The people of the village took us both in, and against their own superstition, agreed to help me rescue your grandmother from the veil. She has to be inside. This is it. Bravo, team. The missing soldiers, they're here. It's her. Always been her. At the margins, in the dark, always there. She, she is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing, and we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. Oh God, what has she done to them? No, I need that last antidote. <laughs> 